Uh, we'll spend a little time talking about the Mini. Uh, we've made a little bit of progress on that, so I thought I'd take you through through that. We now have um, the subframe with all the mounts, and we have the motor and the gearbox assembly, and we have it assembled into the car. So I just want to show you how that all fits together, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the battery packs that we put into the car. So this is the motor. Uh, it's one that we use quite a bit. I think you've seen it in Stag, we've used it in a few kit cars. We're now putting it into minis. So this is uh, 120 kilowatts, so 160 horsepower, and uh, 310 newton meters. So this is the reduction box that we've designed specifically for this application, for the mini application. Um, we've got uh, reduction, initial reduction in here, and then we've got final reduction in, in, in here. So it's this two-stage gearbox. Uh, the differential and the Cranwell and Pinion in here are uh, standard mini parts. We've used Quaife parts in here, Quaife ATB diff. Uh, these are pot joints, which are stand, standard mini pot joints, and the short um, drive shaft. We've used that on both sides. So we've, we've tried to use mini parts throughout the design of this uh, of the gearbox. Um, we've also cited the uh, inverter up here. So these are a matched pair. Uh, obviously, we take DC. Um, from the battery into here and convert it into three phase AC into the motor. Um, and then on top of the motor here, we're gonna have a battery pack. Uh, the whole car needs 16 modules in there, 350 volt nominal, um, and that'll be around 44 kilowatt hour, which should be plenty enough for a, for a test session or, or a race session. Um, so yeah, four, four modules across the front here, and then 12 modules in the car next to the driver. So we believe this is going to be one of, if not the fastest car on the grid. Back over at Classic and Sport Cars in Braintree, Mick explains to Les what needs repairing on the stag. So what did you find? Right, um, well basically um, the rear wings are badly corroded. Right. Um, down here and um, around there. And because of the the nature of the job, where obviously there's a lot of work and attention going into everything, I mean you can buy like repair panels, yeah. but then they're patched, the wings are patched up. And I don't know because I haven't spoken to you about the job before, yeah. but I, my, I, well, from what I'm getting from it, um, you know, the car wants more than that. It, it right. really all the work and effort that not only we're putting in, you yourself and that, it really should be a really good okay. shell. I mean, we can cut the panels out and we can put panels in and we can let them over, but it's still a repaired panel. Right. I think this job warrants new ones, but it's all within someone's budget, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, but so both back wings are like that. And also I feel then when the wings are off, we can do a lot more detailed work on the inner arches. Yeah. More so at the front. Now the seals are gone. If you come round this side. Sorry, Shannon. That's right. You're right there, mate. Um, you'll see it's rotted right through the seals. Oh, good, Joe. Right. So that one will be well on the way, but from the inside probably. Yeah. You know, rush from the inside out. Um, so. We su uh, suggested really that we put two new outer seals and by taking off the outer seals we can check all the ribbing and yeah. the inner seals. I think they're going to be okay. They're, they will be repairable because I don't think we will have to get involved with the inner seals. Yeah. But by having the outer ones off and for that to be uh, rusted through more the other side, that it's all gone round here, yeah. all the way round there, um, you know, something in there is going to be affected a little bit, it'd have to be. So we just repair that, that's not a problem. Yeah. Um, but on the front So the just uh, on these back wings yeah. for a minute, this, this is a common problem on stags. Yeah, of course, this, yeah. And, and I think it's to do with this, this sort of gutter and this pipe, and I'm sure the water's getting down yeah. inside there. If we had the wings off, is there something we can do to stop that permanently. Yeah, I mean, a, we 
I'm sure Jase has told you about the anti-chip we use on yeah. the rather than old fashioned under silk yeah, yeah. and that. This is like the more modern stuff like where Porsche started to use it and Mercedes and people like that. Yeah. It's a really good anti-chip. Well what we normally do is we anti-chip all the inner panels before we put these outer uh, right, ones on. Okay, yeah. And we also anti-chip the inside of these. Right. So, so that'll stop it permanently. Yeah, yeah. But see some of this, I mean I've had a couple of stats myself. Oop is that these, these, uh, you won't believe this, I don't know how long since it's, how long since it's been out in, outside? Uh, what you mean? For, we, for... I mean, you've obviously been working on it in a workshop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has it been in a workshop for a long time? No, uh, Not no. outside? No. It, uh... The reason I ask is these pipes that are still on here, yeah. there's a drain pipe. Yeah. They were had water in them. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. So it's oh, no, it, it must have been. Owners, yeah, it, owners should know that you should like try and rod these or yeah. from underneath rod upwards. They're yeah. actually blocked right. from all the mud and stuff that's gone up yeah, yeah. in the bottom. No, and I reckon a, this has been in the garage for six months. Right. Well, that still had the water about that much oh, right. up the pipe. Yeah. Obviously, over a period of time, some of it would just weep through yeah. or evaporate. But yeah, I mean, it's similar to like an X, XJS or something, or XJ6, where they people don't think about rodding the petrol cap. Right. Where there's a petrol cap recessed, when yeah. you open it, there's an area and there's a pipe, drain pipe. But if yeah. you don't rod them through, and that's why XJ6 is on the floor pans. Yeah. See, that's some of it, because... Obviously, that's in there to drain this water. Yeah, like yeah. Mercedes SLs and that all rot round there. Oh, okay. That's but, worth knowing, isn't it? So, yeah, that's, that's... Okay, so two new back wings, two seals. Two seals. Now, the front wings... Is this replaced as well? Is that, does that come as part of the seals, is it? As far as I'm aware, providing they're, the, like... Because you'll either get a, a repair seal, which might just come to there, yeah. or the full seal, which you have, would be if you bought from the factory. Okay. But if not, I would make that piece and add it to it, if okay. you can't get it. It's cheaper to buy it, if you can buy it, yeah. than my labour actually physically making it, because they you know, stamp out a load at the same time. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going over to, do you know Rob Sport International? I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah, they're up near Duxford. I'm going oh, there right. now to drop off some parts. Right. So I'll talk to them about the Talk to them the about yeah. what parts and if you can get the genuine parts, I doubt it. Some people still got odd ones kicking around. Okay. But we were, we're, we're obviously more than capable, even if they're a pattern part, to alter them slightly to fit your car perfectly. Okay, yeah. But um, this has had the front wings before. Right. Um, because of the way they've been fitted, uh, basically, like this is obviously all loose, where it's not been welded back. Yeah. Um, it's been taken off to fit the, the, the other wing, um, but they've just been sort of like tack welded under there, where generally they're spot welded down there. Yeah. Um, but because, if I get a torch, these wings, you could say, if you like, get away with them, uh, they're, they're, they're rusted all under here, but me personally, if I was doing this job to this standard that, and what this car's going to be, I would forego the price of the wings because obviously you've got to add in the time we would spend repairing it yeah. to the time fitting new ones. But when, if we take them off, you can see where they've been just tack welded there, yeah. where we would seam weld that, lead that over and put that crease back in the lead. Oh, I see. So no water can get in there at all, yeah, yeah. even from underneath. But we would be able, the front inner wheel arch is these bits, right? Yeah. If you, this one's had a little patch on it there. I'll right. show you the other side, because this side's the same, but not as bad, but you'll see. Look, if you come around there, yeah. and there, yeah. and there, and there. Yeah. Well, we don't want to get involved doing new inner wings. No. But they are so much easier to repair and repair unnoticeable that they've been repaired, rather than that's got a patch on it. Yeah. Which is what you do when the car was yeah, not yeah. worth the money it's worth now. 
See how rusty that is? Yeah. Well, we can put our hand in and try and sand it, but we won't be able to do that properly like you would. Yeah, without taking with, the wings with off. The wings off. Yeah. And do you know what? I think these were, and you might, if you shop around, you might get a, a bit of trade discount if you're getting them yourself or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I think you'll find that it would be such a better job to okay. look what's under there. All right. Okay. Um, so it's your decision. Yeah. So in, in terms of price then, between repairing what's there, yeah. which I don't think I want to do, and taking the wings off, is there a significant... No, it's, it's obviously it's, it's your labour time as well, so it's, yeah. it's all up cost. I mean, what... what it, depends how good... If you get a really badly made pattern wing, or a Healy is particularly bad for making... wherever you buy the wings, making them fit, it take a long time. I don't think these will. Yeah. Um, so I would imagine the time involved cutting this off. Yeah. Forget all what's underneath. Cutting the wing off. Yeah. And putting a new wing on is probably the same sort of time, cost-wise, as, as getting something new. As doing the repair, yeah. repairing it. So the only difference you're going to have is the cost of the wing. Yeah. You're not going to pay extra for us to fit them because yeah. we've allowed a certain amount for repair work anyway. Yeah. Yeah, um, and, and as you say, I mean, you know, that, stuff like that in there, you can get to that properly yeah, and, and make there, sure it's a permanent yeah. job yeah. with the wing off. But that yeah. will be, um, you know, round in here, well, what, what this is fixed to could even be rusted. Yeah. But we can repair it so easy and properly with the wing off. Yeah. You okay. know, it's, it's, it's sort of like trying to work in a cupboard from outside rather than taking the door off and getting in the cupboard, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Next time, down at the barns, Nick explains the dangers of the batteries. So remember, it's, it's 350 volts nominal, right? Peak of 420, maybe 430 volts when the battery is fully charged. So it needs to be safe. And Mick finds an unexpected hole in the bonnet. But no, I mean... Ah, that was another question. I don't know. Do you know, I, I'm gonna... Because there's just a screw in there. Yeah. Do you know, initially I thought, oh, has someone put the washer jet? Because the washer jets go on the grill. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. Know. Please subscribe to our channel in the link below and join us next time, down at the barns.